So friends, so we'll be talking on this uh, journal, this journal review series. So it's an interesting journal uh, for all our IQ trainees. So this came in 2022, published in Critical Care Medicine. So renin kinetics uh, being superior to lactate kinetics for predicting in hospital mortality in hypertensive critically ill patients. So this is an interesting study. So quite a detailed sort of a study. So I'll talk mainly the gist of this whole article. So request all trainees to go through this uh, article. It's quite an interesting one. So the whole hypothesis of this uh, study was to look at change in uh, the hypothesis the authors made was the change in renin levels in the body was superior to change in the lactate in determining hospital mortality in patients who have hypotension or in hypotensive septic patients. So which means to say for all the trainees, you would know that uh, lactate has uh, undoubtedly shown to be a good marker of severity of illness or sepsis for that matter. And if, uh, if uh, the lactate changes from baseline to an increasing levels or worsening of lactate, portends bad prognosis. So we know that very well. So this study tries to say that renin is more superior to lactate. <clears throat> so the change in the renin levels is a better indicator than lactate is what the hypothesis was. And to see whether that holds good in the study they went on to do. So that is the hypothesis. So this was a prospective observational cohort study. So the inclusion criteria they had in this study was any patients who are on vasopressors for more than six hours, which means they took patients who are really sick, who are septic shock, needing vasopressors for more than six hours to maintain MAP more than 65, which means they, they looked at the renin levels in the extremely sick patients needing vasopressors and compared them how it performed vis-a-vis -vis the lactate level. So that is the whole purpose of the study. So the interventions, what they did was they checked plasma renin levels at 24 hours, 48 hours, and 72 hours in these patients who were on vasopressors for more than six hours. And along with this, lactate was measured as a standard of care at intervals that was decided in the unit that they were treating the patient. So this was compared. So they did plasma renin on first day, day one, day two, day three, and lactate levels were done as per the standard of care in that particular unit. So, and then, they, and then what they saw was, so any levels of renin more than upper limit of normal and lactate upper limit of normal, they saw the association between renin and lactate and saw which one was a better predictor of hospital mortality. So obviously they, uh, ignored the levels which were less than upper limit. They only took the levels which were more than upper limit of normal and saw the association by using statistical tools, which we'll talk about. So in the results, so they did 197 renin levels they did and 148 lactate levels were done for 53 patients that were included in the study. So they did something called slope of natural log. Uh, so they did a regression sort of an analysis and they created the slope to see which one had a better discriminatory ability to determine the mortality. So when they looked at the mortality, the adjusted odds ratio for renin levels as a predictor of mortality was significant when compared to lactate, which means the discriminatory ability of renin to indicate mortality was better than lactate in patients who died in this study, which means it had a better discriminatory ability to determine mortality when compared to lactate. And as you see, statistical significance was achieved with renin as compared to the lactate. And they did area under receiver operating characteristics and they took the initial renin levels and compared to the initial lactate level. And they found that the initial renin levels had a better discriminatory ability in determining the outcome of these patients, which is mortality as compared to the initial lactate. So which means to say, uh, until now our understanding is if lactate is say more than four in septic patients, we know that the outcome would be bad and it is a prognostic marker. But this study goes on to show that initial renin had a better discriminatory ability in determining the mortality when compared to the initial lactate. And they looked at peak renin levels and peak lactate levels and they found both performed 
uh, equally well and there was uh, no huge difference and both had statistical which means to say uh, during the course of the stay the peak renin levels or the peak uh, lactate levels both had the good discriminatory ability to determine mortality and the area under receiver operating characteristics were significant for both uh, lactate and renin the peak levels but when they compared between in between the initial renin and the peak renin there was no significant difference which means to say uh, so what really made a difference where renin outscored was the initial renin level but when they compared between initial renin and the peak renin and saw any difference so there was no significant difference in the discriminatory ability okay so so but between lactate and renin there was a significant uh, difference with the discriminatory ability but for the peak renin and peak lactate, there was no difference with the discriminatory ability. So that was the findings they had. So this is the logistic regression that the nat natural, the slope of natural log is uh, what they did uh, doing regression analysis. And as you see, the slope of uh, natural log of renin was uh, significant in determining the mortality. So it had a better discriminatory ability to determine mortality as compared to slope of natural log of lactate. So because lactate did not attain statistical significance. This is for initial renin and initial lactate. But when you took the peak renin and peak lactate, both performed well. But when they took initial renin and initial lactate, renin performed better. And if you look at the overall indicator, the slope of natural log was better with renin as compared to the lactate in ability to determine the mortality. So, and he, then they checked at, at what level of renin was more indicative of mortality. So, they saw that any patient who had a renin levels of more than 40 picograms per ml was associated with non-survivors. So all the red ones you see are the non-survivors who had renin levels more than 40 picograms. And the green ones were the ones who had renin levels less than 40, which means to say, so 40 was taken as a cutoff, more than 40 had a good correlation with, in indicating that the possibility of non-survivors are more when renin level is more than 40. And uh, when it comes to discussion, so what they found, there were previous studies. This was a study published in 2017 by the Australian Beloma, where they had shown that increased renin had a good correlation in indicating increase in the mortality. And there was another study by the Belgian group, which came in 2019, where they showed the change in renin levels had more discriminatory ability to determine non-survivors as compared to change in lactate. But for all the isotrenics, you know that uh, even if you look at the guidelines, so there are studies to tell that if lactate does not normalize despite resuscitation, and it is shown that it has a good correlation with mortality. But when compared to renin, renin scored better because the change in lactate, as you see in this study, uh, did not attain statistical significance, but the change in renin was indicative of non-survivors in this particular Belgian study. And they found the sensitivity of change in renin was 100%, but the change in lactate sensitivity was only 33 to 50%. And the negative predictive value of renin also was 100% as compared to 73 to 77% with regards to change in lactate. So, so this is the gist of this whole study. Uh, so all in all, what they tried to show is the change in the renin levels was found to be superior to change in the lactate level in first 72 hours in ability to discriminate as to the non-survivors and to determine the patients who are going to die. So the conclusions the authors drew was the change in renin when compared to the change in lactate in first 72 hours, which they created natural log. The, the slope of natural log they created for 72 hours and saw the trends in renin, they found had a better ability to determine hospital mortality. And renin more than 40 picograms had a good correlation to indicate the non-survivors uh, in this particular study. And even they found that each one unit raise in uh, this uh, natural log of renin increased the mortality by tenfold is what they showed in this particular study. So this is the conclusions they draw. So all in all, it raises a good research question for us that possibly we should embark on doing studies with renin levels, change in renin levels to see whether it performs similarly in our Indian patients. So this can be a good research topic for any of the trainees. 
So maybe we will embark in our unit to see whether we could do these readying levels and see whether it performs similarly in our septic patients. So this raises the sort of a new dimension uh, that renin may be a better indicator than lactate in prognosticating our septic shock patients. So thank you one and all.